Anna Runyon from ClassyCareerGirl.com and today I'm going to share with you two time management tools for busy professionals. These are two tools that I use all the time. So time management is something that I'm always trying to control. I never have enough time and the time I do have I really want to be productive with that time because time is really a scarce resource. You can't get more of it. Once you lose that hour watching Grey's Anatomy you can't get it back. No matter what you do, if you have a ton of meetings in your day, you're going to love these two tools that I'm going to demonstrate for you today. All right, here are two time management tools that I could not live without in my business and in my career. So the first one is eggtimer.com. It's actually e.ggtimer.com. And this is basically, it's just a countdown timer. So you put the amount of time in the timer and it'll count down for you. So I like to do this like when I'm managing my email or when I'm working on an important project, but I wanna make it quick. I give myself like 30 minutes to complete something. And then when it's done, I have to be take a break and I have to move on to something else. So this really just helps me manage my time. You could also do this with social media. So give yourself 15 minutes on Twitter or Facebook and after those 15 minutes are up, you have to move on to something else that's really gonna be a more important use of your time. So I'm gonna set the timer and demonstrate this for us. I'm gonna set it for one minute, one minute countdown, go. Okay, so I have one minute to show you time trade and that might go over. I don't know if I can do that in one minute, but this is timetrade.com and this is an awesome thing if you do anything with scheduling meetings into your day. What I like about this is when I first started coaching clients, I would go back and forth with them and email them back and forth about when we should set up our coaching meetings. They would be on a different time zone than I was, so I had to constantly figure out, okay, what time is this Eastern? What time is this Pacific? What time is this Central? And it was really a lot of time to go back and forth. And what I like about Time Trade is it makes it so simple and so easy. So what you do is you can send an email invitation to the person that you're going back and forth with to set up a meeting. Oh, timer has expired. So see, that's what happens. Um, that means you need to move on. Well, I'm not done. I've only begun to tell you about time trade. So I'm going to let that be. But this is how I set up my strategy sessions. So I first, you go to your calendar and you put your, your times that you're available. So for instance, you know, right now, today's the 23rd. I'm available at 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. So people are able to book an appointment with me today or on Friday morning, I have some acceptable times too. So I put my schedule out there and it also interacts with my calendar. So it knows when I'm busy and when I'm not. So say on Friday, I schedule an appointment at 10, 10 a.m. That's not even on this calendar, but it's on my personal calendar. So say I have a doctor's appointment at 10 a.m. It'll take this off so no one can book a time at that time. So it, it connects with your calendar, which I really, really like. So first you do that, you schedule your appointment availabilities. So I do this allow booking five weeks into the future. Right now I have 14 times that are still available in the next two weeks. So that is great. There's, there's 14 times that someone could potentially book an appointment with me. And then I create an email invitation right here. And I invite the person, so I put in their email address right here and load the last message I sent, change their name. Let's schedule a strategy session. Click the blue box below to view my online calendar and book your appointment with me. So that's all they need to do to book an appointment with me. And I send them that email, and that way it's in their court that I just send that one email, and then they can figure out what works best for them based on all the options that I offer. And I'll show you how it looks. So once they get that email, they get this, they open it up, it says, hi there, welcome to my online calendar. Just pick a date and time that works for you and I'm looking forward to our strategy session. Then they click here and they check my availability and then, then they can book a time based on their time zone. So it automatically puts it into their time zone because their computer knows what time zone they're in. So these are the times that they can book an appointment to me, with me. So say for instance, 2 p.m. on the 7th works great. They go to next, they put in their email address they put in what they'd like to discuss, their name, and please review and submit your appointment request. It gives this all right here. And then you click submit, and it, sh it automatically goes to your calendar and their calendar to book an appointment. All right, I hope you enjoyed those two tools.
I hope you use them and put them into place, and I hope you find out that you actually have more time than you think. This is Anna Runyon from ClassyCareerGirl.com. Bye!